Johanna. Johanna. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a quiet house, so I'm taking the opportunity to do some journaling. So I thought that I'd prop up my camera and just chat with you guys while I'm journaling. So today I really just want to work in my boy's inserts. I'm just kind of trying to catch up in these inserts. It's been a while since I've really been working in them on a regular basis. So all I'm really doing is going through and I've just been sticking in the photos that I had piled up and now I'm just going to add some washi tape and like little bits of decoration and then some journaling. I'm actually just going to be putting decoration and then just like annotating the photos because I've let myself get too behind to do tons and tons of journaling about each little photo that I have in here but I am going to write what I remember and just try and get a little bit more up to date on those. So these insets were made by my friend Beck. I will link her channel below and this beautiful TN cover was made by my friend Marge who is Wash Ashore Glass on Instagram and I'll also link her Instagram account below. So I just got this one recently. I know that people are going to ask me about these so I thought I would just show you what they look like and then you can go and check her out on Instagram if you are interested. But yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. She uses embroidery and like vintage hankies. They're just so beautiful. These are my boys' inserts. So this one is Lex and this one's Wrens. And like I said, I'm just kind of going in and filling things in. So uh, in the beginning of these inserts, I was journaling a fair bit alongside the photos, but then I sort of started to get pines. So now I'm just kind of sticking photos in and then I'm just going to go in and write a little bit with each photo. But I'm quite close to the end of these inserts now. Um, there's just a couple of pages left in each book. So after this I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to start a new insert for each of them. I want to make a big jump journal for each of my kids and I was going to a big jump journal for each of them from like five years old or, or just starting school until the end of school and not journal as much. Just put like the bigger moments in there like school awards or, or like excursions or like birthday parties, stuff like that. So I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to what I'm going to do after these inserts. If I'm going to go straight into the junk journals or if I'm going to start a new insert or if I'm going to start a junk journal for Leg and do an insert for Ren because he's younger. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I do have some journals in the making. So I've got probably, I think I have like four different collections on the go of journals that I am trying to get finished to release. So um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give too much away about what those are. You may have seen some sneak peeks of some of them on my Instagram, but hopefully anyway, they're not going to be too far away from the release because well, some of them are more finished than others, but I've got two sets that are very, very close to done. I get stressed when I don't create because I can't stop the ideas from coming and I get all of these ideas faster than I can actually produce the ideas that I have and then I, I can't forget about it and I just get really like stressed out that I haven't been able to create what's in my head so like I do still need to make time to do that for myself. No, I'm trying to just find more balance. So I'm trying to work out periods of time where I can create and not feel guilty about it because mum guilt is definitely real. Whenever I do do any sort of creating, I definitely do feel guilty because I feel like, I don't know, I just, I don't like to be not paying attention to my kids <laughs> when they're awake. So the only time I really have to create or have had to create is when they've been sleeping at night and then I just haven't been able to do that because I've either been absolutely exhausted or I'll come in here into my room and start to work on something and then one of the kids will wake up and need me or I'll wake them up because I'm too loud so it just hasn't been working for me so 
so these two days a week where my boys are at preschool I think is going to really help what I'm doing at the moment in these books is just as you can see adding some washi tape these washi tapes are so beautiful and I'm just going through and reinforcing photos with washi tape and just decorating the pages. I've come to realise that I'm not a huge, huge fan of this size, the standard TN. I don't mind it, but I just, I don't know, I find it's kind of a little bit awkward. So, like, I'm always having to fill in gaps where I have, um, like, an awkward bit of space. So these pages here are from Lennox's fifth birthday. He just turned five in April. So I'm just adding some washi tape to make sure the pictures are stuck in well and I'm also going to add some journaling and stuff in here. So for me, I probably prioritise how I do my creative journaling and photos are probably the first thing that I prioritise because when I was growing up, we were really fortunate to have a whole bunch of photos from our childhood, our childhood. So just looking at the pictures alone, they were just photos. They didn't have any journaling or anything. They were just photos in a box, but it was enough to really get a sense of what our childhood was like and what we were like as little kids and just to remember as well. I necessarily need to have any journaling or any story behind it, just the photo on its own was enough. So getting these photos printed and getting them into the book is my main priority. So I just print them out and then I usually just tuck them into the book until I have a moment to actually stick them in. And I usually just stick them in with a glue stick or like double sided tape and I use staples to reinforce everything. So this is from April. And after I've gone and put some washi tape on each page, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stick some labels on and add some journaling and stuff just to fill in the pages and to make sure that I've documented everything that needs to be documented. Yeah, so let me know what you guys want to see. Do you want to see journal with me or do you want to see like a tutorial or, or like a process video? Well, um, tomorrow I think I'll try and film Rue's baby album update, so I'll just give you like a little run through of where I'm at with that, show you what it's looking like. Um, I do have a video filmed that I did at night time, so I don't know if the footage is going to be any good, but I have to get around to editing that video. It's a tutorial for like a really quick, um, a really quick journal you can make yeah let me know in the comments what you want to see the most what do you want me to share with you on my channel I do have a huge list of videos that I need to film I've also got a pile of stuff over here some of it came with the inserts Beck made for me so like she put in little journal cards and stuff and little envelopes and things that she made and then I've also got I've got so these are just out of like a paper aeroplane book that my boys have they got for Christmas with decorative paper and you just pull it out and then it it tells you where to fold to make an aeroplane and so these were just some that my kids have been playing with and they're not playing with them anymore so I just thought that I could use these in their books I thought that I could just make some little envelopes with them so I just folded it and I thought if I sewed up the edge it's just like a little simple little envelope that's quite cool and then I can just pop it into the book. So I've got just like little bits of book pages. I had to keep this one because it says um, two wrens. It's obviously about birds but the little boy in it actually looks so much like my little boy wren so I just had to keep this and I might put this into his insert. So my sister recently did some photos for my family. My sister's a photographer. I've mentioned that before but yeah, my sister's a photographer, so we're super lucky because she takes beautiful photos and so it's really good to have nice family photos to keep forever. So um, this photo here is one that she took. Now that that's at this, this sort of stage, I think I'm going to start 
on Wren's and get it up to the same stage because I don't want one to be more complete than the other. These are some old entries when I was pregnant and back at our old house. So this is all the photos that I've been sticking in today, like this morning and last night. And so I have to go in now and add some tapes like I did in Leia's book. I love these tapes so much. I tend to reach for them all the time and not really. I, I guess I... I don't know. I have heaps of other tapes but I don't really use them as much as I use these. Now that I have these, I just always want to use these ones and not the other ones because they're just so much better quality and they're just so pretty. <clears throat> I've also almost got my craft room in order enough that I can do a room tour soon. So, I've actually been going through my stuff and trying to get rid of some things. I feel like I don't have that much stuff that I don't use, but I still am going through everything and like just trying to give things away and get rid of things that I have been sitting there for a period of time and I don't really think that I'll ever really use them. I mean, at the moment has carpet and I just want to get a rug to make sure that I'm, I have something down on the floor to make sure I don't get anything on the original carpet in the house. So I'm in search of a rug. And then my room's pretty much where I want it to be. At the moment things are pretty organised. But I'm in a much smaller room than what I was in before. So I, I actually can't fit So I guess that's kind of enhancing my need for having less as well, just there's not that much space. So, so I've got some pictures of my kids' rooms in the insert, so, so that's another thing you can put in, just like pictures of their space because that changes as they grow and it's kind of fun to look back on it. I also usually keep things like their paintings or their drawings and like like little paper dolls or anything that they make that is paper that I can put into their books because they only play with those things for a period of time and then they usually end up in the bin but it's kind of cool just to put them in your book in your journal instead and then it can be something that they look back on in the years to come. So Leic has just turned five but he's not starting school until next year so that gives me a little bit of time to get his journal made for him because I haven't made them yet. But I have ideas for the themes that I want to do for each kid. So I'm looking forward to working in junk journals. And I think I'm going to do them quite large because they're going to have to hold a lot of stuff throughout the years. But I'm going to be really selective about what I put in them because usually in my own personal journals, I journal about my kids anyway. So like all the everyday moments are in my journals. So I think these school journals that I'm gonna have like for their school years are just gonna be the really key standout sort of bigger moments. The everyday moments are more important to me probably. And that's why they make it into my personal journals. But these junk journals that I wanna do for them will have like, like really, bigger moments because when you're a kid those bigger moments are very mem memorable I feel like and um, it would be fun to put them all into a book for them to look back on and like I have some ideas of things that I want to keep in the journals. It's funny as I'm doing this the cards that Beck had actually put into the books I haven't moved them yet and they kind of correlate with the photos so this says cars and then Ren's here playing with cars on his car mat and then I think it was in this book actually here this one says rocket and then they're here in the photo painting rockets and I didn't do that on purpose so it's kind of funny how that worked out. 
So I think I'm going to end this video here because my phone is dying and Rue is probably going to wake up from her nap soon. So I'm going to stop and I'm going to keep journaling off camera. I'm going to start like adding some labels and stuff and then I think either probably not tomorrow but maybe next week or sometime soon I'll do a flip through of these inserts and show you what it looks like when I've added everything in so yeah thank you guys for stopping by my channel I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye